Science for Quarter 2, Week 8 Milk Base Let's learn about Effects of Interactions Among Organisms Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 4, we will discuss about the effects of interactions among organisms. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Describe the effects of interactions among organisms in their environment. An organism cannot exist when they are living alone. An ecosystem should be composed of different organisms for it to survive. These interactions may be either good or bad but always leading to a balanced ecosystem. There are two types of effects that may happen between or among organisms. It may be short-term like pollination and predation or long-term by which both organisms often strongly influence the evolution of the species involved. These biological interactions are important in nature and in keeping the balance of nature. It maintains the food web. A food web shows the food relationship among living organisms and most food webs start with green plants. If biological interaction doesn't exist, many animals would die from starvation as the food web wouldn't exist. For our first activity, let us do learning task 1. Study the chart below. Complete your answer by arranging the words in the second column. In the first column, we have the picture. In the second column, the interaction. And in the third column, the effect. The picture in the first column shows the orchids and the tree. What kind of interaction shows in this picture? Very good! This interaction is commensalism. The effect of orchids to tree is benefited. And the effect of tree to orchids is not benefited nor harm. Next picture, bee and flowers. What interaction shows in this picture? Very good. This interaction is mutualism. The effect of plant to bee is benefited. Plant is benefited. And the effect of bee to plant is benefited. B is benefited to plant. Third picture, shark and fish. What interaction shows in this picture? Very good. This interaction is predation. The effect of shark to fish is benefited. The shark is benefited to fish. And the effect of fish to shark is harm. Fourth picture, human and mosquito. What interaction shows in this picture? Very good. It shows parasitism. And the effect of human to mosquito is harm. Human is harm. The effect of mosquito to human is benefited. Mosquito is benefited to human. Now, let's move to learning task 2. Study the pictures below. Describe the interaction that exists 
between organisms in their environment. Write the effects of interaction of these organisms. Number 1. Sea anemone and fish. What interaction shows in this picture? Very good! This interaction is commensalism. And what is the effects of the interaction? Very good! The effects of the interaction is the anemone provides the clownfish with protection and shelter, while the clownfish provides the anemone nutrients in the form of waste. Number 2. Clownfish and sea grasses. What interaction shows in this picture? Very good! This interaction is commensalism. And what is the effects of the interaction? Very good! The effects of the interaction is sea grasses provide services including nursery habitat for the clownfish. And the sea grasses is not harm. Number 3. Crocodile and fish. What interaction shows in this picture? Very good! This interaction is predation. And what is the effects of the interaction? Very good! The effects of the interaction is the crocodile is the predator while the fish is their prey. Energy is transferred from living animals which is the fish, to living animals, which is the crocodile. Number 4. Insect and flower. What interaction shows in this picture? Very good! This interaction is mutualism. And what is the effects of the interaction? Very good! The effects of the interaction is both species benefit. Flowers provide bees with nectar and pollen. Bees provide flowers with the means to reproduce by spreading pollen from flower to flower in a process called pollination. And number 5, Carabao and Grass. What interaction shows in this picture? Very good! This interaction is mutualism. And what is the effects of the interaction? Very good! The effects of the interaction is The interaction and effect between carabao and grass is the exchange of nutrients and gases for respiration. The carabao feeds on grass because they are herbivorous to get nutrients. The carabao's manure is a natural fertilizer for the grass. At home, we have pets like dogs and cats. Just like in nature, you, as the owner, has special relationship with your pets. What are the effects of having a pet or plants to you? Can you suggest ways on how to take good care of them? Answer the effects of interaction and the ways of taking good care of my pet or plants. So for example, I choose cat. I have two pet cats whom I really love and adore. I would say that the effect of interaction on both of us is mutual because I taking care of them, feeding them, and loving them. I benefited because they gave me joy and released my stress. They also show me love in return. And the ways of taking good care of my pet are Number 1. Feed them always. Number 2. Bring them to the veterinarian if they are sick. And number 3. Always pat them to feel that they are protected and loved. Remember, interactions from one organism may bring either good and bad effects. There are interactions that both organisms benefit from, meaning, they help each other to live. 
there are also forms of interaction that only one organism is benefiting while other has never been affected neither beneficially nor harmfully. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!